A helping hand is being extended to get Barbadians to grow their own food through the Community Agriculture Response for Empowerment or Project Care. The ministry does not provide financial assistance for somebody to do backyard gardening, but certainly technical assistance so that if you want uh, advice on how to do mulching, etc., uh, that advice can be given to you. And last year, in working with the UNDP, we launched a series of videos called Grow Green Barbados, so that if anyone goes on YouTube, for example, and type in Grow Green Barbados, you will see a series of videos um, showing people how to grow crops at home, how to do mulching, and then how to use those crops to prepare Welcome meals. To we are now going to look at how we can resume providing uh, livestock um, support to people who want to grow uh, livestock as well. And um, we've spoken at length uh, about people doing what we call aquaculture in small systems. So I'm at the stage now where we should receive some funding and I'm about to jumpstart that project as well to let people do aquaculture. And Minister Weir stresses they will not be clearing River Tamarin. Clearing River Tamarin is a challenge. Uh, we do cultivation for people though. Uh, so if the land is cleared, we can plow it for you uh, and help you with getting it into production. So in some instances, you may get some drip in some instances, we help you find the planting material if it's something like yam or sweet potatoes. Uh, we will help you with that. But generally speaking, we won't go and clear river tamarind on people's land. And so that is something that they would first have to deal with. Once that's out the way, then we will come and help you with the preparation and the cultivation. Parliamentary representatives, including Mr. Weir, have been leading from the front assisting and motivating constituents and other groups to turn the soil. There's a good project that uh, Neil Rowe is doing with his constituents. I think at some point in time you all should go and look at it as well. Um, and projects like these, Sandra Husbands has an awesome one as well in her constituency. I actually said to her, I want a video of it to share with the public. Uh, I have a project in my constituency as well. And from doing that project, other people in my constituency are doing the, a similar thing, including the church. Beyond crop production, officials will be facilitating the transition to value-added products. There's a center at um, Newton Industrial Park where we're supporting cottage industry. So now people can take the value added. So people who want to use dunks, for example, to create a product where it's in some kind of syrup and properly packaged, etc. You want to use, you want to create your own cucumber pickle in Barbados. Now, those are things that now people have the opportunity to do. With the project expected to take off in the coming weeks as more Barbadians get on board, Mr. Ware says he and his team will also continue to tackle the monkey situation, which has been a problem for some farmers across the country. Brian Phillips, CBC News.